Hello everybody, it's Joe here of everyone. Welcome back to Bus Simulator 21. Today we're going to be having a look at the brand new school books, school books, school bus extension, which I've just picked up from the Steam store for a price of £9.99. There's a link in the description, you can just see that on there. Tram extension still not out yet. Uh, yeah, we're going to be having a look, see what this has to offer for your £9.99, but first of all, what we're going to be doing is just picking up where we uh, left off. Uh, I have done a bit of trips round, a few trips round, I've done some upgrading, and hopefully we'll be in this the best... Uh, oh, hang on, so what's much. this? I never thought I'd see my hometown right, okay. Like this. It's true. No worries, so we need to click the, the school bus thing. Oh, 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 right, let's, let's just jump out. There's a lot of Volvos here, isn't there? Right, so yeah, we're, we're upgrading, we're making everything absolutely perfect. Oh, look, school routes, completely separate thing, that's interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upgrade these. There we go, level 5. What are you? You're level 5 as well. Now, please upgrade. There we go, All we've the done it. you've done, it's just fantastic. Folks are happy, nature is happy. You've done great work. Good job. I agree with Mrs. Tannhauser. I don't know anything about buses, but the numbers don't lie. 53% lower emissions and a 142% increase in public transport passengers. What an amazing feat. There we go. Is that it then? Yep. Hey, we've done it. Right, okay. We'll just hand that bus over because we are causing uh, a little bit of congestion. Oh, my lord. That woman's about to get run over. Nope, there we go. Right, so. Uh, yeah, we're all good. Now we need some missions. School bus uh, in the top corner. Go on then. Uh, I, I saw the, the dude. Huh? Where, where is it? Uh, right, where are the where are the missions? They're here somewhere. Garage, company settings. What's this C mean? Quest lot, school routes. There we go. Uh, let's have. Oh wow, it actually shows that the school, the Matsha Middle School, and where the pupils live. Oh, they live on Gold Island. Another school there. There'll be a school up there. Lovely. And these are actually all schools uh, where. Oh, hang on! No, right. I see. So none of the none of the schools pick up from the new map extension, of course. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess the map extension did that cost money. I think it did. I guess it means you can enjoy the school DLC without having to have the map extension DLC. That makes sense. Uh, right. Hang on. Quests and logs. School bus quest. Yep. Start the quest. Hey. So, you want to start off your school bus adventure. If you're new to school buses and their unique features, consider having a lesson about them in the tutorial mission. Or are you fully educated? Oh, no, hang on. Let's go with teach me, because I Hello? don't really know. Uh, uh, this is Ted speaking. I've got a big opportunity you might be interested in. Come to the Mark Depot. Depot. There's something exciting waiting for you there. I highly doubt that, Ted, but we will do it all the same. Uh, where are we going? Uh, get to the Greenwood Depot. Uh, hang on, where's Greenwood? Greenwood is there. Is that it? Right, we'll fast travel over there and meet Ted there. Right, uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing exciting at all, Ted. Oh, oh, brand oh. new school bus for your company. What do you think of it? Why don't you take it out for Ooh. a drive while I explain what we're up to? Uh, my son's about to start middle school, and it occurred to me that while we already have a growing public transport network, we're still lacking a school bus program for the city. We finally managed to get one up and running, and Greenwood High School has agreed to be the first to adopt the program in Angel Shores. I suggested that your company should manage the program, and uh, the idea was received with a lot of excitement. So, what do you say? Shall we get cracking? <laughs> I've already drawn up a route for the maiden voyage. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, Ted, it makes uh, makes sense that my company managed the, uh, the school bus program because we are the only bus company in the city. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this this isn't the UK Conservative government where we hand out contracts to uh, ferry companies that don't have any ferries. Mm. Right, OK, this looks interesting. So, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming that it's just the same. Oh, right, hang on. Time will advance, bringing, right, okay, oh, the time is, the time is warping, so we, oh, hang on, it's the middle of the night, and it's back to the morning, I think we've skipped ahead a whole day there, right, okay, I'm assuming it's exactly the same, yeah, into drive, I love the, uh, it's like an Allison gearbox, isn't it? Oh, wow, we've actually got some new sounds. Okay, these are all new sounds, people, from what I can hear. That's exciting. 
Let's have uh, Let's. Oh, I mean, uh, it's not a particularly great looking bus, is it? I mean, obviously it's it's designed on a real life bus. This is very. Uh, the back end is very American, isn't it? Most of the school buses look exactly the same. It reminds me of when I used to play uh, games like Driver. Oh, is it? Does it change up? Oh yeah, it does. There we go. Right, so we're uh, we're pootling along. Turn on your amber lights. What do you think about the new school bus? How do you do that? I think it's swell. Have you tried out its amber lights already? They're for signaling to other road users that children are about to board the bus. Right. You should use them when you're approaching. A have, we, have we got a hot key for that? What's that do? Oh, the the doodads at the top. Right. Okay. Yep. Everybody aboard. Oh, and we've even got an upgrade. Look at that. Hello, children. I, well, they're not going to buy tickets, are they? They're just going to get on. Right, so we've got... Oh, we have a relationship with the school. Right, so we'll obviously have to... Right, how do we... Yeah, there we go. We'll turn them off. I don't know why the engine was just revving, because I most certainly didn't have my, uh, my foot down. Okay, I'm enjoying the concept of this. This is pretty good. Oh, hang on. Where are we, where are we going now? We're going... Oh, right. Hang on. Driving with amber lights enabled. I think you'll find that I turn them off. Do they just turn off on their own? Oh, it appears you, uh, you you get a slap on the wrist if you drive with your amber lights enabled. Oh, what's happened to the road? I mean, don't get me wrong, this is, this is quite nice to be able to drive round the bits of map that we haven't driven round in a while. And this bus is completely different to drive to the rest of them, which is, again, quite a nice change, because if you look, the wheels are in front of you. Believe it or not, uh, from someone who learnt in an Optair Solo to who now drives a B7 RLE and uh, soon to be a B10 BLE, the driving position you is completely different. You probably sign on the left side of the bus. It extends outwards when you open the door, but you can also extend it manually to stop other road users a short while before children board. Plus, when the sign extends, there are also blinking red lights to help alert the other road users. Right, there we go. Signs are on. So that, that extends. There we go. Right, so yes. Right, yep. Children aboard, please. And of course, not forgetting that there are now children on uh, on this game. Yeah, they appear to, the amber lights flick off as soon as you shut your doors. That's interesting. Okay. Right, let's, uh, let's have a, let's have a jolly round there. Do you know what? I I went into this thinking this was going to be absolutely terrible, but this is quite good. I'm enjoying myself. And for £9.99, it's not that bad to say you get three, uh, three new buses. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you get three new school buses as well. Which, so the £9.99 is basically the price of a DLC pack. You've got a load more missions. You've got, you, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. Oh, hang on. Oh, I have just ran a woman over. That is a uh, that is an unfortunate turn of events. Never mind. The children all have their uh, their heads in their eye telephones and and whatnot. Oh, there's no children aboard. Where are the, where are the children? We've left them behind. Oh, they're all there. They're all there. It's fine. Oh, it's because they're so little. An arm attached to the front of the bus is another exciting safety feature. That I wouldn't say it was exciting, but uh, you can extend it to prevent children crossing directly beneath the front engine hood. It's good practice to be extra safe and prevent them from doing this, as it's a lot harder to see them there from the driver's seat. And even if somebody does walk past too close to the engine hood, there are additional mirrors for monitoring the area. Oh yeah, I can see those on the front there. Lovely. Right, so we can extend... What can we... First door. Extend the crossing arm. What does that do? Oh, is that that thing? Oh, right, okay. So basically, it just takes the kneecaps off then. Yeah, that is what it is. It just it just takes the child's kneecaps off if it tries to cross too close in front of the bus. Right, okay, I'm all for that bit of violence. Bang. Whoa, won't do that again, will you? Right. Okie dokie, carrying on. Moseying round. This is a very long and convoluted school run. I mean, given that the first pickup that we did was practically next door to the school... <laughs> it seems like they could have walked instead of going on this ridiculously long journey round. But 
who am I to offer? Who am I to offer a solution to that? If they're paying my company, then uh, yeah, we're, we're going to let them have a, a jolly round. And to be fair, when you think about it as well, uh, the uh, some of them might be bus spotters. They might be enjoying this. Oh, you're about to get crashed into if you uh, if you don't think on and look sharp. Let's have a uh, oh, hang on, right? Flick the flick the dude out. Lovely. Come on, child, on you get. So I guess that yeah, we're picking them up now because we're taking them to school, and then later we'll drop them off, won't we? Oh, still not got rid of that bug where it revs its knackers off the second you put your uh, your foot down. The back end as well, it reminds me of the, um, do you remember that game Bus Driver that we used to have? Oh, it was fantastic. It, it, I mean, by today's standards, it's terrible, but it was like the only bus driving game back in the day. Other than perhaps Midtown Madness 2, but that wasn't really a bus driving game, was it? That was a, a racing game that people modded to make a bus driving game. But yeah, it was the only good bus driving game of its day. And that, that had school buses. That sort of looked very similar. Right, here we go. Right, I, I wish there was a hotkey for this. I'm, in fact, do you know what? I think I might look in the settings. Should we, uh, should we just have a look in the, uh, in the old settings? Right. Uh, b -b 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 controls. Driving and steering. Right. Uh, oh, come on. Vehicle functions. It might be there. Open the door on board. Crossing arm, kneeling, red override. Right, where's the... Where's the, the, the thing? Oh, no, where's the... There's no... Right, driving and steering, no, it won't be in there. Lights, there we go. Um, warning lights. Amber lights, V. Excellent. Good day. Ah, oh, look at that. What a polite child. It said good day to us. Right, off we go. That's, yeah, I'm happy with that. We don't need to bother with the crossing arm or anything, because, you know, this is Bus Simulator 21. These people cross where they want. Is it now going to tell me I've missed a stop here? There we go. Right, we'll carry on round. Come on, get out the way. Children to take to school. This is the future of our uh, of our kind. We need to get them to school so they can be educated. Right. There we go. It's funny because in, in real life I couldn't imagine anything worse than driving a school bus run because it'd be so loud. I do like the fact that you've got some uh, you've got a little bit of chatter in the background as well. Do we not kneel on this? No, we, of course we don't kneel. That's where the V comes from because V usually does the kneeling. God, they moan about the heat as well. And if one of them starts going on about winter of flipping passion or spring of affection, we'll be stopping this bus right now. You'll be all getting off. Oh, I like that. You can hear the chatter. That's fantastic. Oh, it pains me to say, but I'm genuinely pretty impressed by this DLC. Yeah, this is, this is all right. Did it always say school slow, or is that a new, uh, a new thing? Oh, just pull across in front of you. You won't mind. I'm the company owner. My doctor told me I have to drink plenty of water every day. Seven liters should be enough, right? Oh, there we go. Now the children are starting to talk rubbish. Seven liters of water a day. Right, hang on. V, put the lights on. There we go. Doors open. Right, everyone off, child. Come on, everybody off. Yep. Cheers, thank you. Oh wow, they, they uh, disembark in a speedy fashion, don't they? And they all go into the school, that's awesome! Uh, we should start by serving the children at Greenwood High School. If we draw up school routes that ensure no overcrowding on the bus, and which get the children to school quickly and safely, I'm sure the school will gladly give us the opportunity to serve children in even more areas around. Right, okay. So, do I? what do I do with this bus now? Passenger forgot a valuable item. Oh no, they forgot their lunch. Should we, should we dispose of the bus, so to speak? Like, and just go through and just, just check. They don't look the comfiest, do they, in the world? 
I mean, much like all American school buses, they look functional. You know? They, they look functional. Right, so what do we do now? Create a school route with the optimal children load. Ah, right, so yeah, because you won't be able to have... Right, hang on, Greenwood High School, create new route. So, uh, children load... 27 is where we want to be. So why can't we have 36? If the bus can hold 36, why don't we... Right, so hang on. You Ah, right, so it's always going to the school. So if I do that... And then we'll, we'll go... Back along here, yeah, lovely. That's got 25 children. You're inside the optimal range of 25, right, okay. Because then we could have another route that goes around there, couldn't we? That makes sense. Right, we'll, we'll go with 25. Would you like to automatically assign the buses? No, I would not. What I would like to do is, uh, is get rid of that bus... Uh, assign a dedicated school bus for the morning and afternoon shift of the school route. Right, well, what I want to do is I want to nip down here and buy another bus. Because, obviously, the bus dealership, we will be able to, to buy a bus, won't we? We'll be able to buy another school bus. So, Bluebird. Ah, oh. I want to buy a new bus. Oh, ooh, posh. What's the difference? R, E, F, E. Front engine, rear engine. Oh, right, okay. I like that as well. They've got away with using the same model twice with a slight, slight difference. Oh no, I get it, because that's not got a grill at the front, because it's rear-engined. Clever. Right, okay. Uh, so, we need to just travel back to there then. Because I've just, you know, but we're in the tutorial, aren't we? Oh no, hang on. So, Greenwood High School, Route 1. Assign the morning bus. There it is. Yep. And assign an afternoon bus. There you go. Right. Reach a satisfaction of three stars on a school route with optimal children load. Right, okay. That sounds a little bit sinister, an optimum children load. Right, let's uh, let's get the, the flashy, flashy lights on. Because everyone's bored in. Come on, children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There you go. We actually have 25 children as well. Fantastic. Oh, hang on. No, that's... There we go. Off we go. Who's revving the knackers? Oh, it's that Sitaro. Of capacity. Why would it do that? Right, round the, round the back of him. Lovely. So now we're taking them all home again. The school days seem to get shorter. I mean, it seems to have lasted but a moment. When I was in school, it seemed to last forever. And it's funny, because my parents always said to me, oh, the, uh, the, the school, your school days were the happiest ones of your life. They weren't. It was horrendous. Hated school. <laughs> my working days are my happiest days of my life, I can uh, assure you of that. Oh, no, we have the same... Right. Turn down your music, child. Don't care if you are getting off the bus. You can have green air wherever you want and be a rebel, but not on my bus. Right, off we go. Keeping going. So the, the high school relationship is good. It seems to be. Maybe it gets worse if you crash the bus multiple times. I don't know. Right, okie dokie. Round we go. I mean, it can't have helped that I ran someone over. That can't have been a good... Uh, Good advert to the children. Right, there we go. Doors are opening. Are we all getting off? Yep. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, they actually say bye. That's sweet. Perhaps Astrogan have actually sacked whoever was in charge of their previous DLCs and there's actually, you know, put someone in charge who, oh, that was oh, like a hedge would make so much of a <sighs> I don't think a hedge would make that much of a 
performance over a bus hitting it, I think it would just move out the way. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, perhaps Astra are going to have sacked the people that made the terrible DLCs and have actually hired some decent people that can make a good DLC. Who knows? Who knows? Come on, get out of my way. Oh, we are actually running to a timetable as well. I was just pootling round. <laughs> Oh, come on, get out the way. Yeah, I was just pootling around and hoping for the best, to be honest with you. Right, where are we going now? Fourth Street? Sixth Street? No, the, the fourth task, but Sixth Street. Come on, keep going. Got children to deliver. No, we can get through there. Don't run into the side of my bus. Oh no, what happened there? That's annoying. No idea. Oh no, what, what happens going over there? That's not good. Obviously we need to go past that, that huge bump that catapults us into the air a little bit slower next time. Make a mental note, everybody. Right, here we go. V to put the lights on. Lovely. Oh, doors open. Off you get, kids. Oh, back row bad boys are getting off now. Or bad girls, even. Oh, they said bye. That's nice. Right, stop pressing V to put the lights on, because we don't kneel on these buses. Oh, right, hang on. This is... Uh, could they not have walked? Yeah, it was me that planned the route, wasn't it? So, uh... <laughs> Hell, there's a few getting off here. So if I get a smiley face... What happens? I wonder. Maybe it's like we level up with the school. Maybe we can do better things. Oh no, hang on, there's a wheelchair user trying to board. Oh no, this is a school bus, it doesn't matter, they can't get on this. Uh, they will be waiting for the Taro behind, of course. Yeah, I forget, we're not just getting on and off like a normal bus, are we? Oh, there we go, we've we've got a smiley face. So now we can get to the, the love heart emoji. I like the fact they've used emojis as well, that's quite a, uh, quite a child-friendly thing to do, isn't it? We've already driven past this stop already. These kids will be like, why couldn't I just get off then? Because you can. Come on. Right, yo. So, let's get that door open. I don't see the need to stop the motorists. Just tell the children to learn how to cross the road. And then that's fine. Nobody has an issue then, do they? The kids know how to cross the road. The motorists don't need to be stopped. I really don't see what's difficult about that. Right, let's, let's stop. There we go. Oh, green. Right, we're off. Right, I want to go back up here and then turn right because I want to. Uh, I want to see if I get catapulted in the air again when we go down here. This isn't the road it happened on, is it? Never mind. Ignore me. There we go. The brakes aren't very good on this. I have to say, if, uh, if I have to nitpick, they're very, very. Uh, oh, I like how we get paid as well. Well, we get paid in experience points, don't we? Right, there we go. And then the next and final stop, Greenwood Fields. Lovely. Oh, there's someone sat out. Look at their, uh, at their trailer. Just enjoying the nice summer weather. Right, full steam ahead. Oh, 
Oh, the school's going to tell me they don't like the bus driver to speed. I've watched The Simpsons. I've seen how school bus drivers drive. There are a chap called Darren who used to drive our school bus. I actually used to go to school. For the first two years, I went on the school bus. And then for the rest of my high school years, I went on the uh, just on the public bus because I preferred it. But uh, yeah, for the first two years, I went on the, on the school bus. It was an LDV convoy. It was very Balamori. Uh, and the guy drove like an absolute lunatic. Bye. <laughs> Honestly, I've never felt like an LDV oh, convoy hey, was going to roll over people before. People have been telling me how happy they are with the new school bus program. Yeah, I bet they I have. I wasn't even aware of what's going on, so I wanted to check in. Too busy filing the nails, I imagine. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make sure I inform you personally the next time oh, we get trouble. something new going. I'm glad to hear that people appreciate the program, though. But uh, to be honest. It's not really surprising when such a great company is running it. Flattery will get you nowhere. Know some ways to expand further. Yes, I agree. And I've got just the idea that I'd like to suggest. Until the bus DLC. I wonder how we... Greenwood High School is so happy with the school bus program in its current form. But it wouldn't hurt to prepare for an expansion to the program with more school buses and also make sure our relationship with the school remains so good. Hmm, sounds like a solid approach. Let's get right to it. Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, your relationship with the school improves, leading to a higher income rate when the high root satisfaction of more children of the school assigned to roots. The relationship improvement per stop will be higher. Fantastic. Right, so we need to improve the relationship with the Greenwood School. Oh, we can buy the bus now. We can buy the bus. We can buy the bus. Hey! Now, I think we're going to go for the rear-engined bus. I wonder if they're different. Oh, we're not going for the rear engine. We haven't unlocked it yet. I mean, they're basically identical. Apart from that one has one more bit of power. And costs less to maintain. But costs more to buy. Right, we'll get the All-American FE. Ooh, it's not a good looker, is it? I mean, it'll have the same back end, won't it? Practically the same, yeah. All the back ends look the same. They've got, like, three lights. Those up there. They all look the same. Right, here we go. Oh, this has got blue seats instead of brown. Lovely. Lovely. Right, let's jump in. Oh, this has got, like, a proper full-on console. Oh, what's the... Oh, performance. What's, what's with the performance? Right. Oh, oh, this isn't as nice to drive as the other one. Oh, why is the why is the performance so bad? No, this isn't good. Right, let's create another route while we're here. Uh, create new route. So, we're going to go from the high school, yes, to there. How much can we fit on? We can fit 27 children. Wise. Oh yeah, one-way roads. Blow me number. Right, take that off. Three, four. Right, Milbert Square South. Now, have we already got children getting on and off there? Oh right, okay. So these are stops that we don't currently have. So obviously that has a school bus to it. Ah, I see. Right, round there. Yeah. I feel like we could do this. Oh, the route is crowded. No. Right. Take that off. Yeah, take that off. Okay, so this other route here, we could do something else with. But this is... There we go. So we can go around, pick up, round, straight to the school. Can we pick up there as well? I mean, we could do. It makes sense. It's on the way, isn't it? 24. Right, okay. I still don't really get why if the bus will seat 36, why you can't do that. But obviously, what do I know? Right, route two. Let's get the uh, let's get the bluebird lagger. Oh, I've not got the bluebird lagger. I've not purchased it yet. Right, let's let's purchase the bluebird lagger. That's what we're going to call it. Yeah, lovely. Now let's assign it. Uh, yeah, add the morning bus. Bluebird, all American frame rates per second or lack thereof. Right. 
There we go. So, in the next episode... Oh, it seems to work from the outside. It just doesn't work from the inside. Ooh, look at that. Well, I'm hoping that that's going to be fixed for next week because that is practically undrivable, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on next week's excitement. As I say, I'm hoping they're going to fix those performance issues because I don't get how it works perfectly fine and then inside... Oh, actually, to be fair, now we've driven away from the... Okay, that seems to be working a bit better. I wonder what caused that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's pretty good. I think it's worth your 9 99 Did he just say that? Yeah, he did. See you next time, folks. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.